What's going on guys, it's CJ and I'm back and I'm at Periphery. Uh, it's been about three years since I was up here last, uh, thanks to COVID and everything, but um, we're back at it. Uh, I'm by myself this time, which is kind of nerve wracking. I've never done a, a solo camp, uh, but I'm excited to get into it. Um, the site's been sitting here for so long, it's, it's dry, everything's fallen apart. Uh, so I'm gonna have to do a lot of maintenance and uh, repairs to get everything back to where I want it to be. Uh, but because this is a solo camp, at least I get to sort of do what I want to do. I can just sort of get a task, do it, and get down and uh, get dirty with it. But that sounded more sexual than it was meant to. But um, yeah, because I'm by myself, I have to be smart about everything. Avoid snakes, avoid injuries. Because I'm on blood thinners now because of my heart surgery, I have to be smart about using the axe and the knife. Um, so there's a lot of stuff that could go wrong being a solo camp, but... Uh, I really am excited. Um, the nerves only really set in once I stepped out of the car, but we'll see how we go and fingers crossed I don't die. So I have uh, cleared it out. So there's kind of kind of level, but um, there's a lot of work to do. Uh, time has just destroyed the site. Um, a lot of the furniture I left here is just rotted away and it's falling apart. Um, a lot of the twine and tools that I left here have rusted and rotted and um, yeah, I've, I thought I'll see how it goes and come back and then eventually, obviously we got delayed so much that I wasn't able to come back in time and um, yeah, things got worse than I was hoping but um, I'll get there trying to set up the a-frame now and um, I'll probably spend the night in the house um, and then tomorrow I'll set up the swag finish off the campsite and then I'll um, I'll, have, I'll be happy I hope Okay, so there's a bunch of cockroaches in all the old rotted shit, but I do have the A-frame put up. Um, I'm not going to put the swag in there, I'm just going to make it an immersive camp and I'll sleep in the swag elsewhere, like off to the side. Um, but this is just sort of to showcase what I do um, and the things that I enjoy. But due to the severe damage to a lot of my stuff, uh, it's going to be a rough one, but we'll get there in the end. Um, I'm pretty happy with the A-frame so far. I just need to clean up the inside and then start doing props, setting up the camp itself. But um, yeah, all in all, I'm pretty fucking happy. Okay, so this is, I would call officially day one where I get an actual full day to work on the camp, build and design things. Um, I'm just starting up a little bit of breakfast um, so just heating up the pan, I'm just going to have sausages and bread and an apple. Uh, and then for lunch I'll probably have sausages and bread. And then for dinner I'll probably have steak and sausages and bread. So, um, I didn't go shopping. Okay, so the camp's pretty much 85% done. Now it's just sort of repositioning and decorating certain things. Um, but I don't even know what time it is, but I smashed out a lot of it pretty damn quick. I was going to do time-lapse videos and videos of me building everything, but I just don't think my battery would have lasted. So I wanted to play it kind of smart so I could get these sorts of videos in. Uh, and yeah, get some close-ups and descriptions of what I've actually built so far. Um, obviously this is just a one-man camp, so a lot of it is kind of shonky. Um, I don't have all the materials that I want, but... I've put a lot of stuff together and I think I've done a pretty decent job for what I had. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna basically try and improve it now. So these are just some of the things that I've built and I hope you enjoy. So this is just a fire pit basic. It's got a, a heat reflector. Um, a few things to sort of hold pans, pots and all that sort of stuff. Uh, obviously the deer skull and um, a few bones, just sort of a wind chimey sort of type setup. Not really a wind chime, but you know what I mean, just a bunch of bones having an orgy. And then I've got a clothesline that I set up. Um, nothing's wet, 
if it was wet i'm pretty sure that stick would fall down but um, that's just a basic idea of what i want to do um, this is something that i'm really happy with uh, so this is the sink uh, so watched over by the goat and yeah the sink actually works which is cool um, don't want to waste all the water though uh, it is slowly leaking but all in all i'm pretty friggin happy with that and I got some shelves and stuff on this side, uh, just holding. Uh, we make paint out of charcoal. So we collect charcoal and we process that into a paint and we use that as our face paint. We don't use like your store bought face paint. Um, and we just come over here. And it's just pretty much where I sit. Uh, we got Bjorn the bear. Uh, so I'll put a little bit of blood there to make it look like he's sort of just been processed and broken down. Um, the apple shouldn't be there, but oh well. Uh, then we come around, I've got a fence set up, ignore the car. Uh, I've got a fence set up and I'm going to start building onto this and decorating it with bones, things like that, just to sort of have the lead into my uh, A-frame look a little bit better. But there's the A-frame, got the bull skull. Do have bull decorations up top, uh, deer skin sort of door. Uh, here's all my tools. That's just a rotten basket, but looks cool. Then you come inside, got a shelf up there, got the pot belly. I did use that today, uh, just a low heat, just to cook some sausages, and it worked really well. I just open up the back so there's no flaps obviously sitting on top of it. Uh, so I've got some more boxes and things here just to hold different bits and bobs. Uh, there's a drum there, but I'm working on that shoulder pad because uh, yeah, it's starting to fall apart. A uh, small seat and table set up. Uh, my custom engraved armor by Gigi Bonds. Uh, fucking insane. I love it. Uh, Obviously the horn holder. And I've got an armor rack with my weaponry and uh, yeah, obviously more of Gigi Von's work. Incredible, I love it. Um, but there's plenty of room in here. Like I could easily fit my swag in here if I wanted, but I just don't want to sleep in here. So because it's like 30 degrees out, I didn't want to go outside too much today. Um, I wanted to sort of get everything done early. So when the sun sort of kicked in, I was finished and ready to just sort of sit down, relax and enjoy what I've built. Um, so I decided to come into the A-frame and modify my axe a fair bit. Um, so I chucked on a new leather grip for it. Um, so that's actually really good. Like. It gives you a nice solid grip on that. Um, it's not going to slip out of my hand, which is really fucking useful. Uh, and then I added in the bull engraving. So that's actually engraved into it. That's not going to come off. There's no sort of rubbing that off. Uh, the three is a symbol that I use for my gods. Uh, and then on the other side, I chucked in sort of a, the, the idea behind the art style that I go with is a lot of sort of Celtic knots mixed in with a little bit of Polynesian tribal sort of styles. Um, and then I sort of blend the two. And that's kind of the style that I, I sort of came up with for the people that I come from. So uh, it's a fishing village, so the Polynesian side, and it's Viking, Celtic cross sort of style. Um, and then I just chucked in a little picture of uh, the sun, the moon, the bull, and the volcano. Uh, if you know, 
the whole backstory, you know what they mean. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm actually really happy with the axe and it fits perfectly in this little frog, which is nice. Um, which is a custom frog that I made out of, it used to be a bracer or fucking wrist guard for other people. Uh, and I chucked in this little metal thing, which was actually like a little ding, 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 clappity clap clap thing that I got from a Turkish wedding that I went to. Um, so I just basically smashed that on there and yeah, it looks really good sort of sitting in that frog. And it's not too hard to get out, uh, which is also a bonus. I do want to throw it, but I don't want to throw it because I don't want to break it because I've broken like six axes here and that's why we named the tavern the broken axe because every time you break an axe you have to put it at the tavern um, and I don't want to break any more axes, I'm sick of breaking axes. Okay, so I got bored and decided to put this in there. Um, nice new floorboard. And just a place to hide trinkets and bits. And then just set it back down. So I got sick of walking around worrying about prickles. So chuck the cow hide in and it's fucking slippery. <laughs> Fuck, it makes it so much more comfy. So that's pretty much it. Uh, first solo camp and it turned out really well actually. Um, I was a little bit nervous coming into it, sort of being by myself and there was a lot of work to do, um, but I'm pretty happy with what I've done. The fireplace is really good. Uh, it did exactly what I needed it to do. Um, the A-frame, flawless. I have no issues with the A-frame at all. It was really good. Um, and my MVP is easily the sink. Um, I enjoyed having the sink. It made a few little videos uh, more interesting because it's not something that you see in every LARP camp. Um, but there was so much work to be done to get to this point. Um, I wish I could have done more. There was a garden bed that I wanted to put in. Uh, the clothesline, I sort of didn't want to use too much just in case it fell down. Uh, and I didn't want to get prickles in my shirts and shit. All in all this camp, I'm ecstatic. I'm really happy with how it turned out. And I can't wait to do another one. So I know there's a lot of people at Quest at the moment and I'm missing out on that to do this. Um, but I also don't want to get COVID. So we'll see how that plays out. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with what I've done because I know the site that Quest is at didn't give me the opportunity to do what I'm doing. Uh, there wasn't enough random bits of wood laying around there was a lot of material here that i still had here that i wanted to use um, so yeah i think the next event that you'll see me at is exodus uh, and that's coming up in i can't remember i've got a terrible memory uh, but that's coming up and uh, i'll definitely be doing something similar to this because they're holding that event on a really good fucking site i think it's map king from memory um, I just remember I know that there's lots of trees there, so I'll be able to do something similar to this. I'll be bringing my brother and maybe my little uh, nephew along.
you probably can't see me, but you can see the headlights coming in. Um, my wife thought I was coming back yesterday, or at least today. So they've sent a rescue party. Uh, shit. 